Here's a short video on how to load the tape. As you can see, we've got it threaded through the machine. I've got uh, minimal tension on the festoon assembly. As you can see, that pivoting back and forth. All the other rollers are idle. It goes over this last fairing roll in the tape head. We take a cut piece of tape, put sticky side against sticky side, and then we fold it over, tabbing it onto the cutting block. And I'm going to turn the air on. Now the face that I just stuck that piece of tape to is a non-vacuum side. So there's vacuum on the back face, uh, the other horizontal face, and this uh, front face where the tape will be uh, applied from uh, the block to the product. So we'll hit the cutting, uh, hit the foot pedal or whatever operator you have, cycle it, make sure we pull back on the tension. One more time. As you can see, you can hear the vacuum kind of uh, uh, decrease in sound, which means that we're covering all the holes. And this is the cut piece of tape that we put against the cutting block. And I'll cycle it one more time just to show you that this is the side that we stuck on there. And now this is our this is our new cut piece. So I'll cycle it again. Every time the block comes out, it has a cut piece of tape ready and waiting. And then once you've got your cut piece of tape ready, you can then pull on this uh, locking mechanism. It's just a spring plunger. It'll rock down, and then we'll lock it in position using the handle on the back side. take a uh, piece of cardboard, start applying tape every time we get the signal. And there's your inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter cut piece of tape being applied.